We give thanks to Almighty Allah. We ask Him, the Most High, to continue to show His mercy on our leader, Prophet Muhammad, His household and companions and followers, till the day of accountability. Today, we are discussing istikama, steadfastness. Steadfastness. You stay and you are firm. Firm in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't compromise. Don't because of hardship. Don't because of whatsoever. Maintain the pattern of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That is istikam. All of us are Muslims. In Nigeria and across the globe. Because we said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the biggest problem we have is istikam. The words that has come from our tongue, let it be rooted in our hearts. Let our actions, our organs, let them prove that really we are community of La ilaha illallah Muhammad. This is very unfortunate and sad. The lead and the lead are in problem. The lead and the lead are in problem as we got to Islam. And that's why we are in dilemma. That's why we are in crisis. That's why we are in trouble, in problem. Today's own is less than what is going to happen tomorrow. At all hour, crisis are increasing. Poverty is increasing. Lacking is increasing. Killing is rampant. It's not even now surprise. 20, 40, 30 to be kidnapped, to be killed in Nigeria. Our hearts are becoming hardened not to even see it as a problem. Until when it, it comes to individuals. We are really in trouble. Now, among the solutions is for us to be steadfast. It's the karma. Not only pronouncing that you are a Muslim. No. Let all the organs of your body testify in action of that word you have uttered. That is istikam. Istikama is for you to abide with all rules and regulations of Allah's man. The do's and the don'ts. Lead and the let. Every Muslim, unfortunately, is not the case. That's why Allah commanded in a number of verses, those who said Allah is our Lord and they are steadfast. They are firm. They are firm. They don't compromise. Allah says angels are descending on them. And these angels are giving them glad tidings. That you should not fear, no grief. Don't fear. Don't think of anything except goodness. We are together with you. In the world, we have been your bodyguards. Even though you are not seen us. But now we have come practical. We are going to be with you at the point of death. We are going to be with you in the grave. We are going to join you to the day of accountability. We are going to escort and accompany you to the paradise. This is the result of this takeover. That's why it has so many uncountable benefits. It gives you automatic forgiveness. It gives you peace of heart. It makes your relationship with your Lord to be clean and clear. In fact, with other human beings who are sincere and responsible, not irresponsible, to be neat and clear. This is what we should struggle to achieve. This takeover. It solves all your problems. All your pro political problems have been solved through this drama. Tyrannical dealership have been dealt with through this drama. You don't need to fight. You don't need to go protest. You don't need to go to do that. You are wasting energy and resources and women. You are killing all our innocent Nigerians by protest. Go back to Allah. Tell Allah, oh Allah, I have met this drama. I want you to solve our problem. Overnight, you see this problem being solved. Prophet Muhammad was faced by brutal leadership of Makkah. Very hard in hearts. They were not tolerant at all. They do with anybody saying La ilaha in the Makkah. Throughout 13 years, it was very difficult. They migrated, but still the Mecca regime is not satisfied. They are not satisfied. They are wicked. But through Ishtikama, the keys of Kaaba were handed over to Rasulullah Sallallahu the leadership and control of Makkah became his own in his lifetime. It's Istikam. 
فاستقم كما امرت ومن تاب معك ولا تقهر yes this is the power look at firaun how tyrannical he was he claimed lordship he claimed the creator of mankind all this were claimed by firaun he killed hundreds and thousands of innocent children yes he did he did he felt he is the creator he said he doesn't know anybody that deserves to be worshiped except him he said it you cannot have like firaun anymore but allah dealt with him musa complained alayhi salatu was salam musa was very brave alayhi salatu was salam all messengers are brave courageous when he suffered in the hand of firaun and his followers he raised his hands to allah and said oh allah this man is wicked this man i want you to make his heart to be happy so that you will die as a catholic i want you to be with him in our presence allah accepted the prayers but the condition allah told musa and his brother harun that they must do istiqama and ujiba da'watukuma fastaqima that's why you tell nigerians fastaqimu you will see wonders allah is not joking Allah is telling us the truth and nothing but the truth. Fastaqima and they did but Allah dealt with Firaun in their presence. Allah make an open for Musa in the sea. The Red Sea you are seeing. Then he passed through it. Firaun and his followers followed him and Allah drowned them all of them in the presence of Musa alayhi salatu was salam. And it was when he was about being drowned Firaun a tyrannical leader a masterful leader he said i believe in allah i believe in what banu israel believe in the presence of musa allah says al ana is it now when you have tortured when you have killed innocents let our leaders repent let our leaders repent through their handiwork a number of nigerians were killed let them repent it is an opportunity for them to repent anybody close to them should tell them the, the reality Allah is not sleeping. Allah has very leaders much more tyrannical than this ones. We can continue to be in pain all the time. When Allah has given the resources, Allahumma izal Islam wa muslim. Wa damir adana adaka ada din. Allahumma alayka bil kafara wal fajara wal fasaqa alladhina yukiduna al Islam wa kaida. Allahumma alayka bihim fa innahum la yujibun. Allahumma aminna fi awtanina. اللهم امننا في اوطاننا اللهم امننا في اوطاننا وجميع اوطان المسلمين ربنا اعطنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد